happy morning children i hope you are all safe and good children last week we have completed unit 3 prose down 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 i hope you learned all the exercises children yes today we are going to see unit 3 poem seeing things unit 3 poem seeing things this poem was written by eugen sigler okay children uh, before we start the poem let me ask you all one question so how many are not scared about these creatures like snake, mice, tiger, frog, ghost, worm and all? Yes. Uh, okay. I can hear the answer out there. Only few said yes that they are not scared. It means remaining have fear about creatures. Is it children? Yes. Uh, now let's start the poem. In this poem a boy says he is not afraid of snakes, bugs, worms or mice. So snakes you know about snake children. Toad, it's like a frog. Next, bug, it is an insect. Next, worm, it is also an insect, but mm, it's like earthworm. Okay, so mice, a small rat like that. Okay, now let's see the poem in detail, children. Dear children, today we are going to see Unit 3 poem Seeing Things. Dear children, take your English book, page number 29. Let us recite the poem Seeing Things by Eugene Field. By Eugene Field. I ain't afraid of snakes or toads or bugs or worms or mice and things that others are scared of. I think are awful nice. I am pretty brave, I guess. And yet I have to go to bed. For when I am tucked up warm and snug, and when my prayers are said, mothers tell me happy dreams, and takes away the light, and leaves me lying all alone, and seeing things at night, sometimes they are in the corner, sometimes they are by the door, sometimes they are all as standing in the middle of the floor. Sometimes they are sitting down. Sometimes they are walking around. So softly and so creepy like. They never make a sound. And sometimes they are as black as ink. And other times they are white. But the color ain't no different when you see things at night. Dear children, Let's see the poem in detail. So in this poem, the boy says he is not afraid of snakes, bugs, worms or mice. But many of the students or many of the children scared about the creatures. Is it like creatures means it's like snake, mice, tiger, frog, ghost. So like that. So these are the creatures. So many children are scared about Snake, mice, tiger, frog and ghost. But in this poem, the boy says, I am not scared about snakes, bats, worms or mice. In fact, the boy, th in fact, the boy thinks it's all nice creatures. But then when the boy goes to sleep, the creatures which he said, that he is not afraid of will be seen around him like in the corner door and also it seems like standing in the middle of the floor and also it looked like the creatures are sitting down walking around and the boy also described that the creatures are soft and creepy the boy continued to say about the color. Sometimes it is in black color and sometimes it is in white color. The boy continued to say about the color. Also that the creatures are even same in color at night. Because he is seeing at night. Children let me tell you something. Whenever you go to bed and after turning off the light. You feel that there is something inside the room and 
your imagination is playing game with you children be brave children you see this picture these are the creatures so first one is a toad so toad means eat frog like animals second one mice so plural form of mouse third one bug so bug is small insect next one is worm now let us do the book exercise so b roman letter match the movements and the sounds with the animals so first one slither so that one who's slither snake so what kind of noise is his h i s yes, yes second one hop who is hop frog okay the sound is croak c o r o a k croak third one swim so who is swim duck d u c k s ducks what type of sound they make quack q u a c k quack next one fly fourth one fly who is fly crow c r o w s yes, crows so what type of sound they make ka c a w ka fifth one spring so who is spring tiger t i g e r s tigers uh, what kind of sound they make roar r o a r roar dear children now we move on to the grammar part that is pronoun a pronoun is a word that is used in place of a noun a pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun or nouns in a sentence the words i you he she it we and they are pronouns that comes in the naming part of a sentence now let's see the example mr mohan lal is a bus driver mr mohan lal drives children to school every day mr mohan lal is a jovial man these three sentences describe mr mohan lal instead of repeating his name we can use the pronoun he we can say mr mohan lal is a bus driver he drives children to school every day he is a jovial man the word i he she it is used for singular noun and we and they are used for plural noun for example the village is far away it has many rivers they are clean let we see the another example that they are given in the book mother says happy dreams mother switch off the light the above sentence can be written as mother says happy dreams so here instead of mother so we want to use the pronoun that is she she switch off the light mother says happy dreams she switch off the light the next row letter c circle the pronoun in this paragraph children you itself try to find the pronoun and then check the answer up to that we are completed the book exercise now let's see the class exercises first one new words first row letter is new words first one toads t o a d s toads second one worms w o r m s worms third one scad s c a r e d scad fourth one armful a w f u l armful fifth one brave b r a v e brave sixth one snug s n u g snug seventh one prayers p r a y e r s prayers eighth one corner c o r n e r corner ninth one creepy c r e e p y creepy last one different d i f f e r e n t different next row letter that is synonyms 
first one ain't that is am not second one toads frog like animals um, third one armful nice very nice fourth one snug snug means comfortable fifth one creepy like moving without a sound third row letter rhyming words first one mice mice the rhyming word is nice second one bed rhyming word is said third one light night fourth one door floor fifth one around the rhyming word is sound sixth one white rhyming word is night fourth row letter answer these questions first one what is the child not scared of the answer is the child is not scared of snakes toads bugs worms and mice once again i repeat the answer the child is not scared of snakes toads bugs worms and mice second question what is the child scared of what is the child scared of the child is scared of nothing the child is very brave the child is very brave third question what the things do at night describe the things or sometimes in the corner sometimes by the door sometimes standing in the middle of the floor the answer is the things or sometimes in the corner sometimes by the door sometimes standing in the middle of the floor fourth question do you think the child is really brave yes the child is really brave dear children complete all the exercises in your class or not write neatly children first you complete the index page and take a new page and you write the um, heading and leave one line and you start roman letter 1 synonyms okay after completing one roman letter leave one line and then you start second roman letter children learn all the book exercise and also the classwork exercise thank you children don't waste the time be safe